Hello, uh, thank you for the invitation to make this pre-recorded lightning talk for Wikimania 2022. My name's Lucy Panasar and I've been the Wikimedian in residence at the University of Arts London for the past academic year. I'm working with Wikimedia UK for some months before that to set up the UAL decolonising Wikipedia network. And decolonisation is a word that's been used a lot more in the past few years within British universities in particular, and that's because it relates in significant ways to the production and valuing of knowledge. At the start of every session, we include this statement that's here on, on, on our website. And the statement says that decolonization is not a metaphor or a synonym for diversity and inclusion work, citing the seminal text by Tuck and Yang in 2012. It's about equity, justice and reparation for those whose lives and life chances have been and continue to be negatively affected by colonisation. Under British colonial rule, entire communities and nations suffered the loss or oppression of traditional knowledge and ways of knowing and other forms of epistemicide. And the legacy of this continues to influence knowledge production and dissemination to this day. So since being established in 2020 November, the UAL Decolonising Wikipedia Network has been supporting students and staff to play an active role in the decolonisation of knowledge and Wikipedia editing as a form of knowledge activism. The network's website, which I'm showing you here in the background, contains examples of Wikipedia editing that has been done by UAL students and staff, including myself and guidance for future Wikipedia editors and those who would like to facilitate decolonising Wikipedia sessions. That could be students wanting to facilitate um, sessions for other students um, or staff wanting to embed it into their curriculum. There are resources that can be found. It also contains some videos and some very insightful discussions we've hosted in the past year on decolonising Wikipedia in relation to the colonial history of London. And these discussions have been um, with a number of guest speakers from different organisations that have brought really valuable knowledge to the table that isn't necessarily yet reflected on Wikipedia. And that's what our discussion focused on. That included guest speakers from the National Archives, the London Metropolitan Archives, and UCL's Legacies of British Slavery Project. There are links here, you see, as you can see, to, to the recordings on YouTube. The most recent discussion um, that took place and that was recorded in May included students from UAL's MSc in Data Science course, and they talked about their analysis of selected Wikipedia pages to do with colonial figures and sites through a data science lens. So the power of really of the project has been to connect with people that can bring different knowledge and different ways of looking at knowledge um, to the table and to understand how we can um, address the representation of, of these histories on Wikipedia. And there's so much more I could share, um, but I want to draw this talk to a close by saying that my experience of doing this work has been quite transformative. I came to this work with my own academic ha hang ups about Wikipedia, um, but quickly recognised Wikipedia's unique power to inform the public and shape public opinion. And from that came another recognition of the responsibility that we all have, especially those in the academic community, to ensure that Wikipedia represents all knowledge including that which continues to be hidden, marginalised or undermined, and that knowledge which can help to empower the disempowered. Um, so yeah, you can see there, you can find out more from, from the website um, about um, what we've been doing, and there'll be more information to come about how the project's going to evolve moving forward. But thanks again and, and have a great day.